complete the surface area of vitiligo lesions, a systematic review of the surrounding properties. Please, Nania. First of all, thank you for having us. My name is Jolene Duponcel, and I am a student at the University Hospital of Ghent, Belgium, under the supervision of Professor Van Geel. In this presentation, we would like to present a systematic review on image analysis systems for the calculation of the surface area of vitiligo lesions. To date, many different methods exist for the assessment of vitiligo extent. We will focusing on objective tools like imaging techniques. Several kinds of objective measurement instruments are described in literature, but so far no preferred tool has been defined. Therefore, we performed this systematic review. This review was started with a systematic literature search, followed by summarizing and critically evaluating the quality of the different image analysis systems. Our search to perform the systematic review was based on a validated search strategy, specifically for measurement properties provided by COSMIN. The included clinical trials were all related to a quality assessment of image analysis systems for vitiligo. The various instruments we found based on our literature search are pooled into four groups, based on the method to capture the lesion and secondly, the measuring technique. The first two groups concern the combination of traced lesions on transparent sheets measured by graph paper in group one or digital image analysis in group two. The third and fourth group includes the combination of two or three dimensional photographs with a digital image analysis system. The use of transparent sheets is cheap, available for most clinicians, and it takes the curvature of the skin into account. Limitations are that they are less applicable in widespread vitiligo, and complex patterns like follicular repigmentation are more difficult to capture. Based on transparent sheets, you can make use of graph paper to do your calculation, which is of course an easy and non-expensive way. You could also use digital image analysis systems to do your measurements on transparent sheets, for which you will need a scanner and a specific software. In the third group, the lesions are photographed with a normal digital camera, with or without the aid of a UV lamp. Software programs will then be used to measure vitiligo lesions. They are more feasible for larger areas. A major limitation in our experience is that this method relies on the quality of your photograph as well as under interfering factors such as hairy skin or glittering of the skin. The fourth group consists of three-dimensional digital image systems. Depending on the system, manual tracing of the lesions is still required, which makes them not fully automatic. Methods using 3D photography are promising, giving the possibility to perform a whole body evaluation, but they are expensive and you need space for your device. For a limited number of target lesions, we believe that tracing on transparent sheets and subsequently measuring the surface area by a digital software program is the best option. Following the Cosmin's checklist, we scored this measuring technique sufficient for both reliability and validity. Transparent sheets are also the cheapest, least time-consuming and most accessible lesion capturing method. If a computer is not available for doing the digital measurements on transparent sheets, we recommend using a point counting grid instead. We still believe in the importance of clinician reported instruments to evaluate larger areas. However, if you consider using a digital instrument, we recommend a combination of 2D photographs with digital image analysis systems. The process of taking digital photographs is feasible and affordable for most clinicians. We scored the quality of this system sufficient for both reliability and validity as well. But we think a two-dimensional full-body analysis system that meets all requirements is not yet available to date. Thank you for your attention. Thank you very much and sorry because in my program I was written the name of Professor Van Giel, so I not properly introduced uh, you. 
I'm sorry about that. I have to apologize. So basically, for your meta, yeah, for, for your meta analysis, it seems that you know just these simple methods to the to the measurement uh, of deletion will be the, the most uh, the the most useful methods uh, to to evaluate the single lesions, right? Yes, I think for the target lesions, this was. For target lesions, it was clear that the measurement by digital imaging systems uh, used and is also, uh, I think if you look to the measurement property, so the quality, uh, we can say that this is supported by evidence. However, for full body analysis, this is our conclusion, uh, it's it's more difficult situation. So we believe we are not there yet. So in case of target lesions, our view is that the, the first option should be or could be uh, imaging techniques. This is feasible by imaging by simple systems like uh, we explained in the presentation, uh, using, for instance, even a transparent sheet and then a surface calculation by specific software. Yeah. Uh, this is absolutely useful because you, your group have a large experience uh, about the possibility of how to measure the, the vitiligo. So to provide this practical indication, uh, particularly for target lesions, so, so now we know that uh, uh, possible topical drugs will be available shortly in the market to treat vitiligo, and this could be a way to evaluate even clinically the patients. Uh, just treating the, the modification of the single treated uh, spots. Hmm? Yes. However, for uh, regional evaluation or full body evaluation, we also still uh, rely on the clinical reported outcome. I think this is a good choice uh, in the time. Uh, be, I mean, at the, at the moment, uh, we still do not have this possibility to have a full automatic, cheap, uh, yeah. Uh, easy accessible system to do a full body. So uh, we, we still need also our clinical reported outcome measures and no doubt about that. Yeah. Is there any other question or comments to any of the, of the audience? Yeah, thanks Dr. Nanya, Devinder here. Yeah. So nice Definitely. presentation. So yeah. I mean, this is for surface area measurement. So Further, we can think of like uh, that, uh, like depigmentation scale, like how much depigmented area is like, can such evaluation be a standardized where we can see the difference between the normal color and the depigmentation, the level of depigmentation, like as, as in VASC, we say 20%, 10%. Yes, I think, um... You mean if, if this is uh, available? Is, this, is that your no, question? No, I mean like the further step, I mean like... Of future uh, steps. Standardizing. Yes, yeah. of course, of course. The percentage uh, on the, you mean to, to have a degree of depigmentation or repigmentation within yeah, the area, yeah, maybe. Yeah, yes, yeah, so yeah, yeah. the difference in time, yes. Yes. Thank you. Okay. Thank you to both of you for 